this one. Hello, hope everybody is fine. Um, this is going to be a different video. This is my accountability video for sewing during this year. Um, there is something going on in Instagram that is called Make Nines. It's been there for a couple of years. I normally can't make nine garments in a year because I work many hours and I have the garden and I don't want to push myself, but I'm going to push myself this year. Um, and I have plans, no plants, but plans. I'm planning to make nine garments. I hope I get to make them. I already started. Let's see what I have planned for this year. Hopefully we can make them all. And let me know in the comments how many times I said 2022 in this video. It's ridiculous. Really, really ridiculous. The amount of time that I say 2022. Yeah, I'm so happy to be in 2022. Who knows? Let's see what I have planned. The first in my list is going to be to uh, to make an 18th century costume. I'm probably gonna make a separate video on it. Um, that has been in my bucket list for a long time. And I found those patterns and I started earlier this month in uh, making this. My idea is to make some of it. Um, and by hand and some of it by machine the shift and the bump are going to be in this 100 percent cotton um fabric um it has some i'm not sure if you can see them but it has some dots really nice fabric um so the ship i started as i said already on it um and the stays are going to be in this um fabric that i got from joanne there, there's no stretch to it um i'm not sure what i'm going to use to um to support it on any of that but haven't decided any of it um and then simplicity 8161 i'm gonna probably do the petticoat and the jacket in top of the shift that's my idea uh, but i can change i can change ideas my Petticoat is probably going to be in this cotton fabric. I still don't have the fabric for the jacket. So it's a project that I start, started already. So let's see. I don't have any other um, of the notions that are needed for the pattern or for the for, for it. I'm going to probably do it during the year because I want it for Halloween. And so I'm going to probably... Um, do it, you know, little by little on during the year. So Simplicity 8162 and Simplicity 8161 are my first project for 2022. The second project for 2022, um, I in late November, I acquired this book from Jenny Rushmore um, of Kashmir. She um, has a I think everybody knows, but there is a pattern company with that cashmere cashmere name. I haven't done any of those patterns, but um, it's a pretty inclusive uh, pattern company. Um, it's a very good book. I've been not reading completely, but I went through the pages and I have to go again. Explains a lot of the information that a full figure person um, can use a lot, and it also has patterns at the back the patterns that they discuss in the book are in the back so one of my projects for this year is to make one of these patterns in the book i'm probably going to do the dress but i'm not sure so i'm going to say one of the patterns of um the ahead of the curve book from jenny rushmore that's my second the one the third one will be a ufo that i have for probably more than 10 years um it is it is vogue 7743 probably is out of print this is a 2003 pattern as per the notes on it 7743 um the idea is to uh, make the at least the ornaments in the sleeves with smoking i already started that again 10 years ago and started the 
the the sleeves but definitely are not gonna fit because you know 15 years ago yeah uh, it was i was probably a size i don't know 18 um but vogue 18 is probably really small um in comparison to the 18 that i'm today um from any other uh, pattern company yeah so if i look at the measurements if i look at the measurements a size 18 is a 40 inches boss there's no way that i'm gonna get in there but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna treat it as a um a period pattern and i'm probably gonna have to add some piecing in the sleeve so it fits in some piecing at the side of the of the bodies and that's probably gonna be like an ornament let's see how that goes so that is project number three for 2022 this one probably don't say anything to you by just showing this but my project number four is to create a needle book i already have some you know started on it i i am a person that starts like four projects at a time and then you know it takes time to to finish them but my idea is to create this um needle book so i can carry it you know to the living room to wherever i'm working at that moment outside um to do like hand sewing and finishing stuff so that's my fourth um i again i have part of it not all the fissures that or all the notions that i need for it but that's my whoop so that's my fourth project of 2022. Let's talk about the fifth project. Fifth project in 2022 will be to learn um, a little bit about how to um, do Tunisian crochet. Um, I bought this book from Tony Lipsy. She has a, a YouTube channel. I don't remember the name now, but I'm going to try to put it in the screen. I also bought this um, set of uh, yeah i'm gonna want i want to learn how to do tunisian crochet this year even if it's just a scarf or just a a start on it because you know it's it's a skill and the skills you don't get them like in the moment but this is my first my fifth project for 2022 do something in tunisian crochet okay let's talk about my sixth project for 2022 I'm getting really ambitious this year in terms of my sewing. Yeah, but I'm going to do it anyways. It, this is just, a, you know, what you think you can do. And uh, I'm planning to try to do as much as I can. So my sixth project of the year is to cut into a linen fabric that I have. I have uh, like four or five uh, pieces of linen that I bought. Some of them are big. This one is, I think it's, I have six yards. This one I normally have like two, three yards. So yeah, make a garment in linen will be my sixth project of the year. Oh, let's see if I get the courage to do it. Cutting up into a precious fabric. I don't know if you're the same way, but I get really stressed. Yeah, there's a lot of people that have fabric and they don't sew because they're getting scared of cutting the fabric. But you need to overcome that and cut into the linen. Let's see. Sixth project of the year. Make a linen garment. Let's talk about number seven of the Make Nine for 2022. That will be McCall's M6959. Um, yeah. Um, I've been planning this dress for a couple of years now. I bought the fabric, I believe, in um, 2019 or early 2020. Um, I was able to get the tools to, to make, make my own binding. I've been practicing and I bought the fabric in the color that I wanted to contrast. I know it's really contrasting color, but that's how I like it. Um, so I'm planning to do... Um, a but with probably a longer sleeve or a b and then do a little short um cover for it i don't do pretty short sleeves or 
non sleeves but that's my plan so this is the plan number seven of the make nines for 2022 my eighth project for 2022 is a red cape and not only a red cape but a short red cape um using a you know reissue of a 1963 vintage pattern i love the 60s I wish I can dress like the 60s. Um, I have a couple of pieces that are kind of history bounding in terms of the fabric. Um, yeah, I think I need to do more 1960s um, clothing for me because I really love that time. I like the 18th century, 19th century and the 60s. Those are my the times that I like. So I don't have the fabric for that one, but I hope I can find a red that I love. If not, it will be like a really bright blue or one of those bright colors that were um, used in the 60s. Um, I hope that this is not going to be a really difficult um, pattern is average which is complicated for any other pattern company so i'm not going to do it immediately again i'm starting sewing back from many years not sewing and then some years doing like one or two garments last year was all about finding my size so let's see what happens eighth project for make nine 2022 this is my ninth project for the year ninth project and you will see yeah what's that well this is just a sweater neat but my intention and i'm gonna put it in the screen is to do a one of those um viking sweaters from the victorian era yeah they probably didn't have this color but i'm gonna practice on this color i'm thinking to do like a wearable mock-up with this one and then caught on another fabric that i ordered but i don't have it yet that is like off-white so hopefully this is going to be this is one of the those things that you always want to do and you never get to it or you maybe are scared to start like i don't know how to draft patterns so for this one i will need to either draft a pattern or do frankenstein a pattern that i have so maybe i'm gonna use one of the patterns that i've been liking liking it on lately let me see if i have it in front of me yep um maybe i can frankenstein this pattern simplicity um well, i don't know what their actual number is this is one of those that you get in the front so simplicity is showing art one one two oh nine but there's um uh, if I find what the actual number is, I'll put it in the screen. So I'm probably going to use this one to Frankenstein it to create the bicycle sweater. But it's something that I've been dreaming of for a while. Um, I made already this pattern last year and I really liked it. So hopefully I'm gonna, I am gonna can use this one to do my bicycle sweater. Yeah, that would be great. Okay. That's my ninth project for 2022 in no specific order this obviously needs to be four times that where it is cold because you can't use this in south carolina during the summer because you're gonna pass <laughs> so yep so my ninth project for 2022 <sighs> it's been like two weeks that went since i started uh, recording this video but that's how it goes i wake up very early in the morning and try to record one or two um, clips as, if possible for that day but it's okay so i noticed that i forgot to uh, record a closing for the video so here it is well i hope you um, enjoy um, going with me through the plans for the year i haven't counted the the times that i said 2022 in the video but it sounded like a lot of them yeah i know that until now in my channel i have gardening and cooking stuff but i also like sewing and that's why it's called 
flavors and textures and the textures are because of the um the food and 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 the fabric so this is just what i like so hope that you like it with me too and if you don't like the sewing and you like the garden it's okay with me and or if you like the sewing and not the garden it's okay with me if you like the garden and not the sewing it's okay and if you like the cooking it's okay so um i hope to see you in my next one hopefully is uh is i don't know maybe a cooking one there's no nothing in the garden at this moment though i have some seeds that are coming soon so maybe it's a seed home talk to you next time